Hi Aries, welcome to my channel. This will be an intuitive four card spread. It is your weekly reading, so it will apply for the next seven days. It is an intuitive general reading, drawing out some messages that may be helpful for you for the upcoming week. Guys, let's get straight into it and see what's coming up for the sign of Aries in the upcoming week. I will be using a couple of decks here. The first one being the Secret Language of Light Oracle, followed by the Rider Waite deck. I will list these below in the description box for those interested. Let's have a look. What is the weekly theme for those born under the sign of Aries? Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or if you're heavily dominated by Aries um, element in your chart. Let's see what's coming up for the sign of Aries. Aries for the week ahead, for the next seven days. Aries, Aries, Aries. What's going on with my little rams here? Aries. Okay, and you have divine animals. Okay, you've got the majestic and regal lion here with divine animals. This could be a very, this could potentially be a very powerful week for you here, Aries. You are coming up as the lion. This is quite a fierce energy. This is domination. This is, a, it's a certain intensity. Um, it's like an intense stare. You can see the lion connecting with us. And it's quite powerful. So I think there's something confronting here, possibly some leadership, um, some domination happening here within the um, within the workplace, uh, within a relationship. It's instinctive behavior because divine animals points to our instincts, our animalistic instincts. So essentially basic instincts. This is the feeling, the residual feelings that we have within us that are shining very, very bright. There's a certain intensity about you in the upcoming week here, Aries. Um, and if this is not the case for those that are dealing with a, um, a Leo or with another sign romantically because of the heart here, I feel like someone is really coming out of their shell here. There's a certain intensity that's coming up in the week ahead for you. Um, it's almost it, it, it is it does point to the contrast of animalistic behavior and the intelligence of of humanity. I feel as though this may be a boundary or a crossing over to a higher consciousness for some of you. So some of you are stepping away from that basic instinct and perhaps you know reaching the depths of consciousness, um, reaching all the corners of of the human psyche here. So this is quite intense, but it is divinity. It's also an emphasis on, on animals, on nurturing, especially the, the, um, the king of the jungle, the lion here. It's nurturing, it's pride, um, it's that notion of taking people under your wing or someone taking you under their wing. It's also unconditional love. Um, what comes to mind is subservience or dominance. Again, that could apply for you uh, in different ways here. So we'll have a look using the... Um, using the uh, Rider Waite Tarot to see how this applies for you. It could even be servile nature here, Aries. I'm not sure if this is you or this is someone else. Um, almost like an energy of you're being served. Let's have a look. Let's see what's coming up here. Okay, the chariot. This is groundbreaking. This is um, the sign of cancer here. Um, and emotional dominance, absolutely. It is things coming out into the spotlight. The uh, chariot is very prominent. It's very well known. There's nothing to hide with the uh, chariot. Again, that element of prominence and domination. Um, this is very powerful. It could be in the forms of success here, um, in, in a business sense, in a career sense, stepping out. You know, this the, the notion of the sphinxes here, which had the human head, um, and the lion's body. So again, the Leo has come up twice here. So this is double whammy, Aries. Um, but essentially the black and white here refer to the yin and yang. This is a counterpart of yours that you're coming up together here with. And you've got a very um, undeniable connection with this person. Absolutely could be career-wise or creatively someone that's creating a platform for you to stand on, Aries. Perhaps be in the public eye, um, get involved in advertising and marketing, awareness and exposure. So this could be fame for some of you, something that's written in your stars, the canopy here, um, prestige, possibly even elevation in the form of promotion here for some of you in the upcoming week but it really is exclusivity it's you becoming exclusive or you becoming out in the open so this is quite exciting in the upcoming week it could be with a cancer but it could also symbolize emotions a chariot is having control of your emotions um, you know he's got such domination over this chariot 
and I feel for a lot of you it's um, emotions are finally becoming clarified they're finally being expressed to someone or someone around you is ex is expressing their emotions and there's a certain intensity that it's going to come with um, in the upcoming week for you <clears throat> The Nine of Pentacles, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo energy here with the Nine of Pentacles. This points to something, you know, something that can bring you a lot of happiness. Um, traditionally, the Pentacles is, the, is, is a money card. It's a finance card. It's feeling very comfortable in your surroundings. Um, you've got enough money to support yourself. You have enough resources here. <clears throat> so some of you are dominating your finances or dominating your um, the physical realm, money, assets, material wealth, material gain, um, your looks, the way you're presenting yourself. Um, it's a very refined energy. I always see the nine of pentacles. It's a certain element of finesse here. So I definitely feel in the career sense, you're doing extremely well in the upcoming week and people are noticing how much you're dominating your field, how much you're contributing and, and you're so happy about it. You're just going to be um, enjoying it. It's not, I mean, sometimes it can be seen as a bit of smugness but i think it's well worth it you're obviously entitled to something here aries something that you've brought upon yourself in a very positive light here in in the sense of a relationship here or a connection with someone if you are dealing with an earth sign i think the earth sign is going to be very pleased with how you're taking reins of a relationship how you're stepping out um and being yourself <clears throat> excuse me or having that dominance they're enjoying it because you're coming up as a lion. This is fierce. It's it's someone's being ruthless here um, in the upcoming week. Now, it could be you, Aries. It could be an earth sign, maybe a water sign here. But um, I like what it represents, the energy you're coming into. It's quite bold and it's quite forward. You may be quite forward with someone that is around you in the upcoming week or they may be quite forward with you. Um, but I love this column. You know, it's going to bring you to a place of complacency. It's going to get you to a place in your relationship or in your career where you're genuinely feeling really happy with the way things are unfolding, very happy in your current set of circumstances or at the pacing of, of something that's happening around you here, Aries. Okay, you do have the death card here. Major endings, major beginnings, major transitions. I do believe there's a shift happening here. Um... This energy, it could be quite a protective energy. It's quite a possessive energy. It's even, you know, the the, the, the lion is very competitive um, and very, very possessive over territory, over pride, over results. So I think this applies to you in the material world. <clears throat> but the death card indicates a little bit of mysticism here as well and a little bit of, um, you know, that, that Scorpio energy. So if you are dealing with a Scorpio I think there's there's there could be some element where you become defensive towards this Scorpio or this Scorpio becomes defensive towards you. There could be a change in your relationship, a change in your set of circumstances. For some of you, you're going to enjoy promotion or elevation or um, meaning more to someone around you. Um, it could the roles could be reversed. However, you could um, someone else could be starting to mean a lot more for you. But the death card essentially is endings, is loss is taking away from something that isn't serving you anymore. Um, so for some of you, you may be leaving a certain situation behind and coming into your power here as you do so. This is finally regaining self-love, self-confidence, you know. And I feel for some of you, there's there'll be there might um, uh, there might be a situation here where you feel like you need to be ruthless with someone. It's like you need to be a little bit extreme. I'm not sure how extreme you're going to be, but um, I think, you know, you're upping the ante here is what I'm seeing, Aries. The death card can bring, you know, it's skeletons in the closet. It can bring upon secrets. It can illuminate things that were hidden, things that were mysterious, you know, that scorpion energy here. So... I do believe things that have been in the past, things that may resurface from the past can bring intensity into your life, into your friendships, into your relationships, 
in your from um uh, from a career standpoint as well it's things coming from the past here that may resurface and you're going to have to deal with them head on aries But I think you'll be able to work through it because that beautiful nine in the middle says that there is complacency and there is a positive outcome from whatever this is. So there is improvement and it's 22 make the number four. So this is, you know, um, it's a card of possessions and owning and, and confidence within ourselves. So you can leave behind the toxic energies. You could lay the past to rest once again. Or you could take it, you could take the past back in and make it something beautiful, make it, you know, drive it to success once more. I will leave it at that though, Aries. Um, I hope this reading has been insightful.